Hi, and welcome back to another heatable video. Today, we're taking things back to basics to find out exactly how a solar panel and solar panel systems work to power your home and save you energy. If you've ever wondered about solar energy or you're considering going green yourself, then this is the video for you. Let's get stuck in. So what is a solar panel? What about these big glass sheets gives you the power to binge watch 14 hours of prison break in a single sitting? Well, a solar panel is a device that converts sunlight into electricity, and it's made up of multiple smaller units called photovoltaic cells, or PV cells for short. Now, each of these cells is like a mini powerhouse that absorbs sunlight and turns it into electricity. But how exactly does it do this? Well, these PV cells are typically made from silicon, one of the most common elements on Earth. Silicon is what's known as a semiconductor, which means it can conduct electricity when light hits it. So when sunlight or photons strike the PV cells, it knocks the electrons loose, creating an electric field that generates a flow of electricity. The sunlight arouses the electrons, a bit like the sight of Gary Barlow does to your average middle-aged housewife. Let's talk about how this energy becomes useful power for your home. The electricity generated by the PV cells is called direct current, or DC. Here's the catch. Most homes and devices run on alternating current, AC. So we need to convert it. Enter the inverter. Wow. So the inverter's job is basically to convert that DC power into AC power. Think of it like a translator. If your solar panel is speaking Spanish and your refrigerator is speaking French, then the inverter is like the Duolingo bird, only slightly less annoying. The inverter converts that raw energy off the roof into a more stable, usable form to use in your lights, appliances, and your electronics. Without an inverter, your solar system would not be very useful at all. Be a big mirror. All right, but how much power can a solar panel or solar system really produce? Well, we actually have a video on the channel that covers some of the misconceptions around solar production. So feel free to check that out after this video for more information. Yeah, that's oh, what the f was that doing? Was that the ladybird? That was just a bit of fluff in my hair. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. The power output of your panels depends on several factors, things like sun irritants, which is the intensity and saturation of the sunlight in your area, the efficiency of the panel, and even the angle and positioning of the panels on your roof. For instance, the average residential panel in the UK might produce around 300 watts of power on a bright sunny day but that number can vary based on the time of day and the weather conditions. And that's why proper installation and positioning are key. Panels are often angled to face the sun directly, maximizing the amount of sunlight they absorb throughout the day. And in the description down below, you can find a link to our 3D solar panel mapping tool that you can use to get an estimate of the production you might expect based on the angle of your roof, the amount of panels you're gonna to add to your roof, etc., etc. It's really simple. It'll take you only about five minutes to do. If you're thinking about installing solar, it's definitely worth your time. Of course, sunlight isn't always available, like at night or on cloudy days, and this can also eat into your overall savings. And this is why so many people opt to install a battery with their solar panels to store any extra energy for use on days like that. Speaking of, let's quickly touch on batteries and the role they play in the system. When your solar panels produce more energy than you can use, that energy can then be stored in solar batteries for later use. That way, you can keep the lights on even when the sun isn't shining, arguably the most important time for the lights to be on. This is especially important if you live in an area with less consistent sunlight or if you want to have backup power for emergencies. In some cases, if your system is producing more energy than even your batteries can store, that extra energy may be sent back to the grid and that can get you credits or a reduction of your monthly electricity bill. Win-win. Now, speaking of the grid, let's talk about the two main types of solar setups, grid-tied and off-grid. Most people opt for grid-tied systems where your solar panels are connected to the local power grid. This allows you to sell your energy back to the grid as we've just discussed. But what about going off-grid? Off-grid systems are entirely independent of the local power grid and rely on batteries to store all the energy your panels produce. While this setup offers energy independence, it typically requires a larger investment in both panels and batteries to ensure you have enough power to last through the night or during cloudy periods. But if you want to live that off-grid, bare grills lifestyle, drinking piss out of a snakeskin, the option's always there. 
So why are so many people going solar? Well, beyond the environmental benefits like reducing your carbon footprint, solar can save you a lot of money in the long run. With the right setup, you could see your electricity bill drop dramatically. Plus, many regions offer incentives, tax credits, or rebates for installing solar, making it an attractive option for many homeowners. Go green, get paid is the, is the main thing about it. Yep. So there you have it, an overview of how solar panels work and why they're a fantastic option for harnessing clean energy, powering your devices, but more importantly, allowing you to distract yourself from the horrors of reality with a bit of curry on your telly. Whether you're interested in reducing your bills, helping the environment, or gaining energy independence, solar has a lot to offer. Now, this isn't everything. There have been a lot of developments in the world of renewable energy as of late. So if you want to learn more about the nuances of this technology, microinverters, bifacial panels, and all the rest, check out these videos showing up all over the place, all around me, as we speak. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. If you're confused about anything, pop a comment down below and we'll help you the best we can. Thank you very much. Bye.